Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan P. Butler. In our last episode, we looked at the extremely rare original trilogy Video 8 releases out of Japan from 1991. I said over and over again in that video how there aren't any retail Star Wars releases on Video 8 for the United States. We looked at how Indiana Jones had one, right, with Temple of Doom, but not Star Wars. Well, I kept saying retail for a reason. Video 8 was also used in other contexts in the U.S., so that sometimes you would see something that was released not to retail, but on Video 8 that might deal with a franchise like Star Wars that didn't have retail releases of any kind. That is what happened in 1999 when uh, Tricon, I believe was the name of the company, decided to take their three big franchises, right? KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut and bring them together for the so-called Defeat the Dark Side promotion to go along with the theatrical release of The Phantom Menace. It was a weird promotion, by the way. Um, basically, you had Harland Sanders, Colonel Harland Sanders, from KFC, who was kind of like a Jedi-type figure, basically. Um, certainly seemed to be a Jedi. He was also fairly old. Um, you had the, uh, what they call her, Pizza Hut girl, who didn't even get a name, but it's basically a slicer and martial artist who joined the fight around the time of the Battle of Naboo. And then you had the Chihuahua who was fighting in the Battle of Naboo to like free the tacos or whatever the hell that meant. It was a weird promotion that somehow took characters out of their companies, inserted them into the Star Wars universe, and sort of built this marketing campaign around the Phantom Menace and them and the idea that going to each business was almost like going to a different planet for the different parts of the promotion. Weird stuff. But there were toys and there were games and, and stuff that you could win as the Defeat the Dark Side promotion. Well, to prepare their employees for that, they had a training video. You can find that video by simply searching Pizza Hut Star Wars Training on YouTube. It's very easy to find. Very hokey, but it's just a training video kind of explaining this is what the promotion is. Here's how to explain this. Here's how to explain this. Here's how this works. Here's how this works. Training video. But how did they release it? To the stores. Well, at least one of the ways they released it was on a format that really wasn't all that popular in the U.S. outside of camcorders, so I'm kind of surprised that this is the format that they chose. Video 8, or 8mm video. Same thing as that extremely rare Japanese trilogy set, or the films as we've seen, uh, not on the show, but mentioned on the show, uh, also in the U.K. on Video 8. That product, or training video, was this. Notice it's just a regular clear case, so we're going to take it out of there so you can see a little bit better. Ironically, made in Japan, where this format was bigger. Other than the made in Japan and whatnot, not much on there. But there's our label. Built in, right? printed on it. Pizza Hut Inc. Star Wars Episode 1 Implementation Video, April 1999. Copyrights down there. Pizza Hut logo. Not much to it. I would urge you to check out that training video because it is a little bit weird. It's interesting to see how the training video worked. Again, just search Pizza Hut Star Wars training. But this is video eight. And it is Star Wars. It's just not retail in the United States. So when we say that Star Wars didn't have any releases on video eight in the US, it's sort of those, you know, what I told you was true, but from a certain point of view kind of things. Retail-wise, absolutely. Of the films, absolutely. But literally, absolutely nothing at all? Not true, because there were at least weird things like this, not for the retail market. Just want to show that as at least it gives us an example of Video 8 in the U.S. outside of always having to refer to Indiana Jones as something as a similar product, since the U.S. didn't have any equivalent to these babies. My thanks to James Snow for finding this on eBay and pointing me to it. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. May the Force be with the home video viewers.